Hello class, this is a short video to show you which websites you need to get through the course. At this point, we're two weeks into the course. You should be able to find these websites, have registered for the book, and gotten into the companion site, the learning management system, which is called MindTab. But I'm going to show you two websites you should be aware of that you'll be using for any chapter that we do out of HIT. And what you would do is go in and do your sign-in up here in the right-hand corner. And when you do do that, you should end up with a screen that looks something like this. Although mine says Instructor Resource Center, you would say Student Resource Center, something like that. And you should have already registered for the class, and you should see the book here. There's two places on this page that you're going to really want to know, and I wanted to point them out to you because there's a lot of information you can ignore at this point. Uh, the first one is for MindTap, you would click this link here under My Course. And also at the bottom, Somewhere on the page near the bottom, yours might look a little different because I'm in the instructor version of the website here, but somewhere down here at the bottom, you should be able to find the student companion site. Okay, so I want to start with the student companion site because that's more of the traditional support for this book. And there's some nice, small, valuable tools on there. So when you click on that for the student resources, your screen should look something like this. Uh, kind of a nice reminder, visual reminder up here. This is the book, cover of the book. And since we start with Chapter 10, let's click on Chapter 10. And we'll see what resources are available for us there. And here's your list over on the left-hand side of the resources. Uh, there's really only two out of the three that we really are concerned about at this time. The flashcards go along with the glossary. And these are nice challenge questions. These are the things you should be doing before class. When you come in, we can use the words. We can define them, put them in action, and apply them. That would be really good. That's why you're going to use this part of the site. Uh, if you click on the glossary, just simply a list of the terms for the chapter that should make our conversations really interesting. And then for coming to class, for exams, finals exams, things like that, uh, you'll want to click on flashcards. And that's just simply a term-by-term -term challenge to understand what the terms were, memorize their definitions. So on that part of the site, these are the only things that you really need to be interested in. If you care to, you can download the PowerPoint lecture tools, but we don't need those right now. Those are really just the graphics that are used through the entire book. There's really just one PowerPoint file that you have access to here. It has major graphics from the major concepts in the book, and uh, if we need them, we we'll, might be able to use them for the business plans that you're going to produce. So going back to the top again, just to remind us where we came from, we had clicked this site down here at the bottom, and that's what we saw, flashcards and glossary. Now, with when you come back up here to MindTap, you have access to a whole number of things. One of them is the online book, and then a few other things, but there's also exercises with rich media. There's videos and other reading material, different cases than that appear in the book itself. When you click on that site, you should see something like this when you come to this. Uh, in my view, which I'm not exactly sure whether you have the same views here, or you really want to check this week view, okay, up here in this upper right of the left pane. And I'm showing week three, that's where we are right now when we do this. If you want to take a look back, you can just use these left and right arrow buttons. Um, I had not assigned anything. Actually, I had just done a little bit of practice on making assignments here earlier on. And here are some actual live assignments for you this week. Uh, there's a YouTube video. Uh, there's an Av Avon products and very interesting hospital whistleblowing cases here. Uh, there's also uh, a question set that comes along. The hospital whistleblowing has to do with the Stafford General Hospital. And then there's a ch some challenge questions on uh, in the news. There's uh, some information there. You just click on each one of these, and they will lead you to the resource that you need to answer the questions. So let's start assignment now. And for the Enron YouTube, if you click this, you will end up getting the YouTube video. Watch the YouTube video and then start answering these questions. And you can see up here there's five questions at the top. Sometimes I've noticed the questions are set up as buttons down the left hand here. So just keep aware of that they're not all exactly set up the same. And you can click on each one of these tabs and show the question. I haven't answered them yet. So you can range through the questions and uh, take a look at them before you even look at the uh, the video. Actually, you shouldn't really do that, but I'm sure that's what's going to happen. 
the other, when you start answering the questions and you come back here, you can also proceed and move forward and backwards by one by using the next and the previous boxes over here. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you with this. You have to sequentially go through the assignments that I've made on here, finish those off, and uh, this will all be recorded online. You can come back again and read run these challenge questions on the material because any one of these things I assign could end up on an exam. And definitely you want to be prepared for discussion in class to make a very interesting discussion. That's it for now. Thanks very much.